I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apokin. I'm still doing these um, lectures on um, the, the lessons life taught me, what I have learned from life. There was a Presbyterian minister in Scotland. His name was Robert Murray McChinney, Presbyterian minister. In 18-something, he already had a 1,000-seater church. That is a church that seated 1,000 people. And he so used, God used him mightily, and then he used his body mightily, that when he was dying at the age of 30 or 30-something, 30 he said that the Lord gave me a message, and he gave me a horse to deliver the message. Alas, I have killed the horse. I cannot deliver the message. His body was the horse. God gave him a message, but he wrongly used this body, destroyed it, and he died young, and he could not deliver the message. There, there, there was um, a Presbyterian minister that was in charge of the church in the capital, he ministered to senators and the um, House of Representative members and um, government functionaries in Washington, D.C. His name was Peter Marshall, and he did not live long. He also died, unfortunately, much early. And his wife wrote a book, a man named Peter Marshall. What I want to say is that in all your ambitions, in all your motivations, remember, this is 70% water. There are aches and pains I feel in this body that were results of overusing this body when I was much younger. Not even now that I'm old that I found. When I was much younger, there were weights I carried, pressures I put on this body, stress I put on this body that I now feel the creaky sounds. When you are younger, don't use your teeth, your spoon, your knife, or don't use your cutleries to dig your grave by what you eat, by what you consume. And I see young women with obesity, with big bones, fat legs, fat tummies, yeah, shaking, as you get older, to carry the breasts, to carry the bum, to carry those legs will be a heavy burden on your legs. I discovered that in the past, past 38 years, I've only added a little more than 10 kilograms to my weight. I've regulated what I eat when I eat, how much I eat. Don't kill yourself by consuming so much. You, you find people finding it difficult to breathe at very young ages, age brackets, finding it difficult to climb stairs. Even if you are, your body mass index is still within the normal limit, don't live a sedentary life. Just sit down in one place in the name of walking, you might eventually see the consequences in future. This body is a horse. Give it good, enough sleep, adequate sleep. Give it adequate rest. This body is a horse. Read as much as you can read when you are younger. Write as much as you can write when you are younger. Read enough of the Bible as much as you can read when you are younger. Memorize enough scriptures when you are younger. Do enough evangelism when you are younger. Do all the missionary works when you are younger. When I went to Matahara in Ethiopia, I rode on a chariot. When I went to Busia K in Kenya, they carried me with bicycle as a guest speaker. I, we drove throughout the night in this big bus from Nairobi to Busia, and we got there around 7 in the morning. 
that was nearly 12 hours of, trans of, of journey, of traveling. When I went to Antanana River, I traveled from 2 p.m. and I got to Morandova by around um, 7 a.m. the next day. When I went to Australia, I flew nearly 20 something hours. This body cannot take that again. Thank God I did those things at those times. I went to Sierra Leone, went to, from Freetown, went to McKinney, stayed in McKinney. The bed was made of concrete. We took our bath with uh, well water. Then um, Adax had not come to around the uh, McKinney. So there was no electricity where we stayed in that part of the town. And then we left McKinney by road to Bo. And from Bo, we went by road past the Mao River with a ferry and got to the border with Sierra Leone, I mean with Liberia. We slept in one scruffy hotel, crossed the border the next day, got to Monrovia, preached and then left Monrovia by air back to Nigeria. I can't put this body to that stress again. When you are young as a young girl, don't abort all your children. You might look for children you might not see. Young man, when you are young, don't sleep with so many women all over the place. There are some venereal diseases that you might contact that might destroy the cells in your testicles that will not produce sperm cells in future. Young girl, when you are young, when you are pregnant, keep that baby. Keep that baby. You are not the first person to have baby outside wedlock. Because the time will come, you might look for children, you will not see them. When you are young and you are working in a good company paying you, please keep your money, invest your money, because a time will come when you might not have the energy to start doing some of the things you want to do in retirement. Watch your weight, watch what you eat, watch how you spend your money, watch how you live your life, watch what you drink. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Don't spend all your energy looking for money and destroying this horse. Then in old age, you start spending this money to treat this body. Somebody I know could not control his appetite, just eating and eating and eating. Today, he was admitted and he has to pay a bill of nearly two million because they had to control his blood pressure, control his sugar level, and control his weight. That is not what to go through in old age. God bless you. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles. Uh, Pokey, subscribe to this channel, share with others, and go to our online bookstore, PetraPublications.com.